Say that again. I said I will be reading from John chapter 1, from verse 1 to verse 4. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made. In Him was life, and the life was the life of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. No. We're bringing back in the house of the Lord one more time to give him praise for watching over us all night long, waking us up, enabling us to get to see the world safe and sound. We just want to say thank you, Lord, and praise you, Lord, for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy, Lord. Just thank you for continuing to look over us and our family, Lord Jesus, and go out in the streets, look out on the people on the streets, in the nursing homes, in the hospital, Lord, touch them, let them know that they're loved, and let them know all they have to do is believe in you, and you can take them through anything uh, that they're going through, and we just want to say thank you, because it's just so good to be back in the house of the Lord, it's so good for the Lord to just wake you up, even though you haven't prayed or did the things you need to do. Still allow you to come up in here, and I, I just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you. We just can't thank you enough, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Just thank you, thank you, thank you, and I say all this in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.
give a lot of God who's had in my life and to uh, our mother Wilson, yes. to our Bishop Wallace, to my wife, First Lady, our sister Nika West, to all the saints and friends. I thank God for being here. Thank God for my life, my health, and my strength. Yes. I truly thank God for my health. Yes. And the reason why I'm saying that because I had a little scare on uh, this week. Well, I got the news a few weeks ago. And I was telling the church last, uh, yesterday, you hear that C word, <laughs> cancer. Yes. It just throws off your whole plans of life. Yes. You know, even though that you may not show it, but in your mind, yes. you're Amen. wondering if you're going to be here tomorrow or That's right. however. Yes. Amen. And I've been sick for a while, you know, off and on, off and on, whatever. And a lot of you know, people tell me, well, you don't look sick, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm trying to look, I'm trying to stay positive. Amen. And, positive. Amen. and I like to focus on every single day. Yeah. It doesn't matter how I feel. Yeah. My job is to reach out to souls and to win souls. Amen. So I try to look positive all the time. You know, and got a call. They, you know, they said, because uh, lately I've been losing a lot of weight. I went from... 190, I think it was like 190, 92, down to last month to the hospital about a week or so ago, I was 169. Mm -hmm. And they were trying to figure out what the problem was. So, hey, well, you trying to lose weight? <laughs> no, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I eat, you know, I, well, I thought I was eating like my, I'm supposed to eat, but, you know, things happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it ran kind of, you know, different tests. And they said, well, you know, we don't think it's cancer, but let us run a test. So they ran the test. I, I get the news back that it could be cancer. Mm. And as I told the church yesterday, I was, you know, kind of messed up in the mind. Yeah. You know, uh, trying to be positive, you know, trying to, you know, keep that face. Yes. As, you know, we, we had a, a, a service a few years ago at a, a Cornerstone, and the thing was, take off your mask. Yeah. And I have my mask on, trying to be brave, tough. Yeah. Whatever, but under that mask, I was, but you know how they say, I'm, I'm like a little baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, was, I was scared, nervous, yeah. and I had, you know, my little support system, my wife, you know, she was strong. Amen, and, but, amen. You know, on the inside, you just, I want to hear this, I want to hear this news. Yeah. You know, you tell me, you think it is. <laughs> And that bothers me every time you go to the doctor, they say, well, we think. Yeah, yeah. Man. I'm not a person, don't tell me you think. Yeah, no, if man. you know, right. tell me what you know. Yeah, and my whole mind, I said, my whole mindset was just messed up. Yeah. And God blessed that one Saturday I came to church and he showed me how there was several different saints that was here at the church that had cancer and God had brought them through. Yeah. Right. Amen. And I was focusing on them, but Satan kept bringing to my mind that yeah. my mom died from cancer, yeah. and she was being positive. You know, she said, like, oh, oh, you know, Kim, I'm going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm gonna, and she died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though she was fighting it, but she died. Yeah. And she had cancer, I maybe what I know of, two times, and maybe more than that, but twice. And I just kept saying, uh, I can, I can make it. But Satan kept saying, well, you know, your mama died. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Kept showing me all the yeah. bad sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I kept saying, oh, well, you know, I got to go to church. And I don't want the saints to see, you know, I'm here, I am the leader. And, but guess what? Pastors, leaders, bishops, whatever title you have, you are a human. Yeah, yeah. 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 People put you up as like you are a rock. Mm. Nothing can happen, yeah, but yeah. you're real. Yes, yes. Yeah. We have flaws. Yeah. We fall, yeah. and I'll, I'll pray that when I do fall, that I will get back up. Yeah. But I'm, I'm here. And I, you know, like I said, I was, I was scared. I was nervous. Yeah. And my wife kept saying, "It's not there. Mm -hmm. You don't have it." Mm -hmm. Sorry, thank you. Amen. Right. But like I said, under that mask, yeah, it was something totally different. Oh, yeah. And when I looked at that email, they kept saying, well, you going to see an email let you know the outcome. Yeah. And my wife made a comment a few weeks ago, not even knowing concerned about my situation, because I didn't really know what the problem was. All they said was, 
we found an infection in your intestines, and then all of a sudden they were saying, with your pancreas. Mm. So, you know, you hear pancreas, you go, oh, mm. oh, no, that's yeah, yeah, bad. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm looking online trying to get research, and Satan is so weird <laughs> and so <laughs> cunning and tricky yeah, that everything yeah, that yeah. I looked up on Google was bad news. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know that song said, don't give me no bad news, no more bad news. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything I looked up on Google was like, whoa, yeah. people die. Oh, yeah. this is the worst cancer you can ever have. Yeah. I said, oh, Lord. Uh, I was trying to find other stuff. I know Google has good news, but for some reason, my mind and eyes wouldn't focus on, on yeah. that. You can focus on that bad news. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 man, I, oh, I don't want to look at Google no more. I want to look you know, try to find some other kind of research. Yeah, yeah. And again, God led me back to his word. Yes. Kept yes, telling me, hey, yes. what I have for you hmm. and what I have for him, for my people is hmm. the word of God. Amen. Anything that you need Amen. for help, whatever else, it's right there. Amen. And I found myself just going back reading different scriptures. For encouraging. Because guess what? It's a song that says, Encourage yourself. Amen. Amen. I talk to you look at everybody else, you know, to see how, you know, what kind of words they're going to say for us, encouraging words. And guess what? It may work. Hmm. I'm not going to say that it don't work, but hmm. sometimes you by yourself, hmm. you know, that's one of the reasons why we come together for, for you know, to church. Amen. It's for strength. Amen. Amen. That's the reason why we, you know, people say, well, I, I can be at home to serve God. That's true. But guess what? When you're around your brothers and sisters, guess what? Even if they don't know your situation, you ain't got to what what you're going through. But you can feel strength yeah. just by being with your family. That's true. And that's like your blood family, your church family. You get strength when you're around them. Yeah. And I, I kept looking and reading and reading, and God just kept showing me. Everything that Google was showing me negative, mm -hmm. God kept showing me positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Positive stuff. And I'm like, yeah. all right, yeah. I can make it. Uh -huh. I can pull through. Mm -hmm. And there's a little girl in our church. I just found out that she just, she just turned six. We were told about a few, a few months ago that she had cancer. Mm -hmm. And to see every time, that there was some time I saw that she was like, you know, kind of down. But she was battling with this cancer for a long time. Amen. And we, we heard good news and we heard bad news. Mm -hmm. Good news and bad news. And we kept praying. We kept fasting. And the first thing I said, we're going to fast for Kylie. We're going to do this. And we kept on praying. And Satan kept playing with our minds. You know. Yeah. You know, my mind is everybody's mind. But with some of the saints' mind, mm -hmm. it don't look good. Because you know how I mean, you see pictures of people. And for some reason, we're looking to see, okay, I'm sick, I have this, and I'm trying to see how sick are you by your eyes. My mom, my mother told me when I was first diagnosed that I was sick, she said, Kim, I knew you were sick by your eyes. Mm -hmm. How your eyes look? I said, my eyes. So I would try to fake it, like, try to bring down my eyes and, you know, <laughs> kind of smile on my face every time. But for some, there is something about your eyes. People can see. Yeah. They can see yeah. how yeah. sick you are. Yeah. They can see how mean and evil you are. They can yeah. see how happy you are. Yeah. In your eyes. Yeah. So I would look at Kylie's eyes from the pictures and I was like, she don't, she don't look sad. Mm -hmm. She don't look depressed. Mm -hmm. But me hearing what she's going through, the different type of treatments, I'm like, man, she got a sick you know, at that time five. She got she gotta be really suffering. Mm -hmm. her, her grandma and her great grandma would come, oh yeah, we know she's going through, but she's still demanding, Amen. she's still happy, she Amen. still want this. And I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. And God has kept bringing that little girl mm -hmm. to my mom. Yes. If you do have it, yeah. look what I did for her. Yeah. How I brought her through. Yeah. A little, a little child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The word of God says, a, a little child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we look at them like they don't know. You know, that's a little child. They, mm. One thing that I, I learned from children, adults, we get in a, a, a situation, we get mad at each other, it lasts a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, amen. We don't forget. Hallelujah. We don't yeah. 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 We get, you know, hey, somebody come to you and say, hey, I'm sorry. Okay, all right. Every <laughs> time you see them, 
I'm not sure who foot got ran, almost ran over or whatever. I heard him and I came over and they said, pass me talk to somebody, put them down, ran over or something. But it's like you see that person, you look like, <laughs> I remember. Hallelujah, Or you forgive them and things are going great. And just because they bumped you that one time, wait, I'm going to put on my foot. Now you just bump me. <laughs> or they can just walk by you and you say, hello, how you doing? Yeah. And because now you got a little bit of ear uh, uh, pods, <laughs> you don't know if they listen to you or not. Yeah, but yeah. you speak and they keep walking. Yeah. Oh, I done forgave you, but you going to just walk past me? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> and they don't even know what's going on, but you still got that little animosity against them. But yeah. children, yeah. they can be mad at you. You can go over there, I remember the time where I, we used to fight, and I was a little bitty boy, even up to 16, 17, I would tell them, look, we're going to fight, let's go back to the alley, just me and you, we're going to fight. And I, I, I let them know, it's going to be a, a good fight, because I'm, I'm losing, I'm like, I'm going to be biting and grabbing and doing all kinds of stuff, let you know that. Yeah, I was really fighting. I ain't gonna give up. But once this fight is over, we gonna shake hands. We gonna go about our day. But now you get a little bit older. Somebody you don't bite you or do something you're like, oh, you started reflecting back, man. <laughs> even even if like you want to fight, but you still think like, wait a minute, but. Nobody see. When I take off my, when I take my shower. I see. Wait a minute. That thing's still there. You know. And then you see that person. Yeah. How you doing, man? Yeah. What's up, man? Yeah. Man, that brother really got me. Man. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm gonna have to again. We shouldn't be that way. We should be like children. When it happens, just hey, okay, hey, sorry, it happened. You my friend. Amen. Let, let's go have fun. Mm -hmm. That's how we should be. Mm -hmm. But I thank God that when I was in doubt, he brought this little bitty girl to my mind. Hallelujah. Yeah. For support and encouragement. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And when I got that news, I, I, I kept checking that email like, whoa, let me look at this email. Okay. <laughs> I kept seeing my prescriptions and everything else. Nothing about the test results. I said, Lord, it must be bad. And that song, that little Disney song, whatever it is, don't give me no more bad news. I, I kept singing that song in my mind. Don't give me no more bad news. Why did I, it came to my mind at that time. And I was like, and the same way how Brother Josh was singing, I had all kinds of little extra little runs into it and trying to fix it up to where I could play it on my horn and stuff. I was thinking all kinds of stuff. Like, yeah. And I kept looking, I said, man, I don't see the email. I don't. The guy kept saying, you keep saying no more bad news. Start thinking positive. Amen. I Amen. Amen. Well, evidently, no news is good news. That's right. As soon as I said no news is good news, Here it comes. I'm going to kite. I said, oh, Lord. Now, at first, I was anxious to open up that email. I was like, well, let me see. Let me see what's going on. And it was nothing. Mm. Then all of a sudden, I said, Lord, I need to see. And he said, well, here you go, son. <laughs> now I'm like, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I'm praying. I'm open to the TV, oh Lord, show me. That is going to be some good news. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open it up. And like I said before, it showed me everything about my prescription and past visits and everything else, about the test that I took. This time it went straight to the, the email from the doctor. Yeah. Amen. And I said, oh Lord, and, and my, my eyes are bad. And I'm trying to look at it, and it's real small. I'm like, okay, I'm trying to turn my phone. And I'm trying to keep it a distance because I don't want to see, like, sorry, Mr. West, is cancer. So I'm like, okay, uh, I'm trying to see what my wife is saying. I'm like, we together. I'm like, okay. And I, you know, it's like I'm scared to make it bigger. I make the pop bigger, and I'm like, okay. Uh, oh, face. No 
about to the hospital. Son, I told you God not gonna allow this. Yes, he is. He's gonna, he gonna allow it to happen because mm -hmm. I'm gonna bless the church. Mm -hmm. I just like kept thinking, my plan is to bless the church. He kept saying, son, I said, this is not for you. I said, okay, that's what you're saying. And I kept playing. <clears throat> now it's time for scholarships. I said, oh, watch this. <laughs> no football scholarship. I said, Amen. wait a minute. <laughs> I know, man. Uh -huh. Everybody was saying, wait, well, come on, man, you're going to this college. But I got a track scholarship. Yes, sir. So I went to San Diego and I, said, I told the coach, I said, hey, man, look, I'm bad. Pick up my family. I said, well, I'm here on the track scholarship. I said, well, I just want to be on the team, so that's no problem. We can fix that. Don't play no football at all during the summer. So you, you get here to the school. I said, okay. But I love football so much, I didn't listen. I didn't listen to my dad, didn't listen to my coach. Okay. So what I did was play football all day long, every time I got a chance, roll my friend's house, we played ball. I went to my cousin's house. Play ball out there in the street. And I'm like, I'm bad. I caught the pass and I, you know, back in the day we played top on the street, top on the sideline, whatever. Caught the ball, jumped up, came down, and I came down on an old car metal bumper. <laughs> and I hit it. Ah! Now, it, it felt like a, a tap. But I didn't know that my pants, I thought my pants were just caught on the bumper. And I couldn't move. But the impact was so hard that it kind of like took the pain away. And, and by the door, it was so up that I didn't know that I the bumper got caught on my kneecap. Wow. And they tried to pull me off and they ripped my kneecap. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that came to my mind was, they said don't play no ball. You gonna be leaving in a couple weeks. <laughs> and I caught myself, but now my cousin knows that I ain't gonna play no ball. My dad told me, you ain't going to college. You ain't going there to play no ball. You going there to education. Every black person, they go for these scholarships for sport. I heard all that stuff. I'm determined. Because that's my dream. That's what I planned. And I get to the hospital and said, can't play no ball for about a good year. My dad said, say it again, sir. <laughs> you can't play. Amen. I'm sorry. And I was so determined. I was, I was like my dream was crushed. And they fixed me up. Now, I was so mad, so mad and so upset at my dad. I should be upset at myself. But I was so mad at my dad that I, I could have went to the college and red shirt. But I, I was so upset. I didn't go. And got better. I said, man, since I didn't make it for there, I mean, they had, they had tryouts for the semi protein. I said, oh, semi pro. Oh, that's good. So it was like several guys in the church went. And I said, well, I know my speed is kind of a little slow. I ain't that fast anymore. Got older, whatever. But I can still hit. So I went out there, tried out for the team. Because my plans and my goal was to be somebody out there for the world. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, when I'm being somebody for <coughs> the world, I want to be in the church. But my, main, my whole mindset was for the world. Then God. <laughs> and I placed my pro ball for like, what, five, almost five years? Two years, I broke my leg twice. Bad. Mm -hmm. One time, first time in a game, tried to tackle somebody, I broke it in three different places. The first quarter, matter of fact, the first quarter. And I was so hard at it. The coach said, oh man, there ain't nothing wrong with you. We had a crazy coach. So he taped it up and did this, and I played on that broken leg mm. the whole game. Mm. And I walked from Crenshaw High School all the way over to, over to 80th and Vermont. Walked home with all my cousins, we walking home on a broken leg. <laughs> Turn around again, another year later, played again. <laughs> so my cousin died in a car accident, and I'm like, I'm going to dedicate this season to Sean. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really do something. And I got to shave everything. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden they had all these scouts coming out to watch. I said, oh. <coughs> and I saw this big, beautiful, black and silver uniform. 
the Raiders, my favorite team. I said, oh, here we go. <laughs> Amen. Oh, whoa, he's out here to watch. By the pick somebody up, he's going to pick me up. He, he, he was like I got a practice squad. I'm, this is all my opportunity. This is it. <laughs> and I'm out there running, doing practice, did a little cut. And that same way they say, you can't play. I'm running and hit the little sprinkle hole. Pop! Everybody said, oh, oh, oh. I knew it was broken. I knew it was that. that, that, that. Oh. And everybody said, oh, where's all? I'm fine, I'm fine. Tell the doctor, hey man, look, just do what you gotta do so I can get back out there. I can't. It's messed up. But let me show you. Jeremiah the 29th chapter. I believe it's verse 11. Here we go again, like I said, I was playing on my phone and the font got real small now. <laughs> Jeremiah 29, chapter verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. He knows. Amen. And sometimes we feel that we know more than what. He knows. Amen. He is the creator of heaven and earth. Yes. He is the potter. Mm -hmm. Now, what got me, what really got me messed up was that I kept saying, I'm doing this for God. No, I wasn't. I was doing it for myself. I was doing it for my, what I consider my family. And for exposure, Amen. For money, Amen. And fame, Amen. And God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's what God showed me. He know that you're saying you're doing it to help the church, but I was on the back side. The word of God says, "Seek me first. Amen. Seek me first. Hallelujah. And I will show you everything that I have planned for you. Amen. Amen." Amen. But we don't seek him first. Mm -hmm. And our whole mindset that we get up in our, our mind like this. Okay, I have a job. I know what I have to do on my job. Mm -hmm. So I get up in the morning to, and some of us plan that even before we go to bed. This amen. is what how our mind is going to be tomorrow. Amen, amen. I've, some people put their clothes out and it's a set routine of how I'm planning how my life is going to go. But God, guess what? God already has our plan already set. See, what we don't realize is that he knew everything, how everything was going to go before we were even born. Hallelujah. Yeah. All that was already planned. Yeah. So, Pastor Kim, you playing ball was not in my plan. That's what Amen. You said. Yeah. Amen. I love you to have fun. Yes. I love you to enjoy yourself and have a good time. I allow you to have some good dreams, Amen. some fantasies, you know that fantasy island show, you know, that's basically where I was at, I was on fantasy island, you know, he allowed the scouts to come watch me, I even talked to some scouts, whatever else, tell me, hey Wes, you know, you really, you're not there yet, but guess what, if you can go to practice squad, this can happen, if you do this, whatever, and build yourself up, and you do it, I heard all that, but I didn't hear what God was telling me. Amen, See, amen. We're focused on what people are saying and, and what our dreams are, but we're not consulting God first. Yeah, hallelujah, he said, seek me first. Yeah. Talk to me first. Hallelujah. Guess what? When I was having those doubts, my dad was saying, yeah, this ain't going to happen. Mm -hmm. I can't say the truth. This going to happen. Yes. <laughs> and if I, was, if I was told at a young age, guess what? My dad was a pastor, I, I'm not knocking. You know, hey, he might have said it, whatever else, but hey, when I'm another child, you know, you know how they said pastor's kid is the worst kid? Amen. Well, yes, ma'am, mother. Amen. <laughs> I, was, I, was the worst, I was the worst one. You know, and, and, and in a way, I even tried to be bad, so that way I won't be a pastor's kid. I mean, I'll be a pastor. Hallelujah. So I wanted to say, to say, he can't be no pastor. Not, not that guy. <laughs> We definitely don't want him no, we don't want him nowhere in the church. <laughs> Matter of fact, if we can vote to not have him kill here, we all got our hands both hands up. That's what I was trying to get. You know, hey, I don't want them to say we don't, but it didn't happen that way. Because see, God knew what he had for me yeah. and what he wanted me to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But I was scared. I'm going to tell you the truth. I was scared. Because mm -hmm. in my mind said, I'm not Bishop West. I can't sing like Bishop. I can't preach like Bishop. Mm -hmm. My daddy was a very, 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 very friendly person. My daddy said, how can you just walk to anybody and, and they are your best friend. They're not who you meet. They're your best friend. You do it. That's no. To me, that's, you got to have your privacy, man. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I said, I didn't want to be like that. And guess what? God showed me, you're not going to be that, like that. Mm -hmm. You are a kill. Yeah. You are who you are. Yeah, but guess that. what? We are made totally different. Yeah. Yeah. He made it all of us unique. Yeah. Yeah. And again, we forget to seek him first. Now yeah, back to, we plan how we're going to get out, what we're going to wear to work. We plan to, hey, I'm going to take this route to mm -hmm. work. I'm going to leave it this time. And as soon as something happened to mess up that little plan, we get, up, we get upset. Amen. Saints of God get roll rage. Amen. <laughs> Saints of God. Amen. Now, mind you, I'm saying it because it happens. That's the way it slips up every time. I'm human. Amen. I'm, I'm human. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to be on time for something. Hey, wait a minute. Man, get out of my way. Mm -hmm. I used to go home and say other stuff. Mm -hmm. I didn't curse, but I used to say other stuff. And my grandson kept saying, Popo, -po. Popo. -po. I said, oh, Lord. <laughs> he kept saying, don't say that. Call him a clown. <laughs> OK, clown. <laughs> then, you know, I said, well, I'm calling him a clown. And he get upset. He going to clown. <laughs> so I said, I got to find some other kind of way. Yes. But I, we, we made all the different stuff that happen. And so when it don't happen the way we expect it to happen, we get upset. Amen. We get frustrated. Mm -hmm. And if we would just take the time to talk to God before, Amen. you know, hey, our parents taught us, pray for you to pray for you to eat. Mm -hmm. they, 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 majority of us, we were taught to pray mm -hmm. as a child. Amen. And for some reason, we kind of slipped away. Mm -hmm. As a child, we were praying all the time. I know I was. You know, been a practice kid, pray for you eat, pray when I went to bed, pray when I got up. They said, son, you got tested, they pray. And uh, even when I was playing ball on the track, for that game, pray. Even on the field, we pray. Everybody was praying, but all of a sudden it's late. When I really should be having that one-on-one -on -one relationship with God at contact, I don't even think about praying. Because for some reason, it's like we pray. Or, as I said, we talk to God when we really need Him. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You really need Him every time you breathe. Amen, mm -hmm. amen. We need Him. Yes. But we don't consult Him. Yes. So we got a problem. We call Billy, Bob, Google, <laughs> and everybody else mm -hmm. before we talk to Him. Amen, amen. Because Billy, Bob, and everybody else won't give you something that you no, see, Satan is so cunning that he figured to where when you need help, he's going to use everybody else and to you know, give you something that you want to hear. Mm -hmm. He's not going to give you what you need to yeah, hear. Yeah, he's yeah, going to give yeah. you what you want to hear. Yeah. And so when somebody tell you what you want and that, that, that you need to hear, doubt sets in. Amen. Oh, wait a minute. You don't know what they're talking about. But guess what? As young people, and sometimes husbands, whatever, that's how we get. Man, you know, try to tell me something. They don't know what they're talking about. And then as soon as it asked what I thought was supposed to go, and my wife said, no, I said, oh, well, she was right. And for a while I was saying, okay, she was right. Oh, oh, wow. Well, I'm wrong. And I would try to go, man, she always right. And I know first lady said, see, there you go again. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, baby, I, I listen. <laughs> I'll tell the saints yesterday, I said, it finally hit me. My father always always said this statement. Happy wife, happy life. Amen. And I said, why they keep saying happy wife? What about happy husband? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it bothers me for a long time. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I told the church, I said, you know what? Because my mind was closed. Mm -hmm. when, that, when, he, when he was when he was trying to explain to me, I said, nah, man, no, you, nah, man, you, you weak. Nah, man, 
I'm telling my father all this. The picture. Yeah. Uh, man, man, I'm not gonna be like that. It, it, it ain't gonna happen. Not in my house. And as things happen, I said, Bishop, that's your daughter. You can do this. Amen. But one day God showed me, He said, if she's happy, she's gonna do whatever she can to make you happy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I said, oh, okay. So I done wasted all these years <laughs> trying to make her make me happy. <laughs> then I'm looking like a clown. <laughs> what I should be doing is the other way around. <laughs> but guess what? I thank God that, hey, Amen. I learned. Amen. Amen. I thank God that I don't have a closed mind anymore. Yeah. I thank God that I consult him first. Mm. And guess what? I mean, I consult him first all the time. Yeah. Just picture this. A person who's on drugs or have an addiction, mm. and they try to stop, it doesn't happen overnight. Amen. The 76s had this little thing that they said for a while, but, but it we got on, on the team, they was, trust the process. That's all God has told us, trust the process. Amen. And I'll tell you this, guess what? It's strange how we, hmm. now, I'm at this plateau right now as a pastor, and mind you, I'm, I'm not about titles, I'm not about nothing, I, I can care less. And the reason why I say that, I'm not, you know, knocking my title of the pastor. The reason why I'm saying it is because if I get caught up in titles and positions, how man, man, see, man can say, okay, hey, man, you know, you're good. You do this, whatever, and I'm going to make you official. But then as soon as I do something that they don't like, they, God told me to do, but they don't like, they don't agree with it, they can take that position away. Now, if my mindset was on that position, even if I was at my job, at work, they said, well, hey, Billy, we want you to do so and so and so and so and so. Now, I did it. Now, somebody get jealous mm -hmm. and then try to take my position away. Yeah. My whole mindset is on that position. My whole content, everything's going to change because mm -hmm. I'm focusing on that position, on that title. Mm -hmm. that, that position, that title drives me. Mm -hmm. it, doesn't, it doesn't drive me because mm -hmm. my whole thing is about pleasing God. Amen. So, Amen. yes, I'm a pastor. Yeah. And guess what? See, when you are in, in different positions, people look at you different. Mm -hmm. And they expecting you to be holy. Yes, that is amen. true. But guess what? I'm human. Amen. Now, amen. I'm striving mm -hmm. to be per perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm striving every single day mm -hmm. to find myself doing what's pleasing in God's eyesight. Yeah, amen. But guess, I'm human. Yes. So I'm learning. Amen. And this is a, pro it's a process. Yeah. But now since so I'm at this certain stage now in my life, see, God have mercy on me. The people prayed for Kim. Mm -hmm. Now Kim is a pastor. Mm -hmm. So because they prayed for me, and I have the same thing for other people. Mm -hmm. I think when people come back to the church, because people are going to come back to see the growth. Amen. People are going to come back. Hallelujah. And when they come back, we got to be humble. Yes, we have to have this mindset and say, hey, my brother, how you doing? Yeah. We miss you. Yeah. Like Mother said this morning, mm -hmm. I'm glad you're back on your post. Yeah. You know, hey, I, you know, guess what? We, we're family. Amen. We're supposed to help and build up one another. Amen. Because guess what? When you were down and trying to make it, or you, like me, I said, I ain't going to be, no, I ain't going to be no for no church. I'm done. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, say, they were still praying. <laughs> they, they, I got, in my mind, kept saying, you wasting your time. Because that ain't my, that's not my plan. But God is telling me at the whole time, he said, I don't care what you say. Mm -hmm. This is what I have for you. Amen. And if you don't do it the way I say, Amen. you ain't going to make it. Amen. I got to the point where I kept being so hard-headed, so stubborn, stiff, stiff nakedness, and I found out my daddy kept saying, okay, go ahead and be stubborn. But the Bible said that's a sign of witchcraft. I said, mm. oh, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it. I ain't no witch. Mm. But he said, the word of God. I didn't, I didn't say it, but God said it. It's a sign of witchcraft. Mm. And I said, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Then God said, if 
it's your time. Ah, no, 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 it's my time. It's your time. And I kept running, kept running, kept running. Then he knocked me on my back. Mm. I mean, with a, you know, I, I was like, I can take a hit. You can't take no hit from God. I mean, how bad you know how big you are. When he hit you, just because you on the field by yourself. <laughs> and all of you catch the ball. And when you, you know how to keep on the blind side, you like, ah, oh! you look up there like God right in your face. Just picture several people right there in your face ready to take you up. That's how God is. Amen. And I'm like, ah, oh, I'm happy, I'm free, ah, boom! <laughs> right on my back. <laughs> now he said, now what you gonna do? Amen. And he showed me that I'm in control. Yes. I'm the creator. Hallelujah. I'm the one that caused a life yes. and a death. Yes. Now this is what I have planned for you. If you don't do it, live or die. Amen. How bad do you want it? Yeah. Mm. I don't care about football that much. Yeah. <laughs> you tell me literally die. <laughs> you know, I, I'm still young. <laughs> and he comes and said, well, okay. Do what I tell you to do. Amen. But, Lord, I don't know how to do it. If I tell you to do it, guess what? I'm, I'm going to give you everything that you need to do it. Yeah. You have everything that you need to do the job. Yeah. That is strange that back to your regular job. That some of the jobs, some of the jobs, the position that you all have now, I guarantee you, when you first got those position, you didn't know everything about that job. Amen. You was just happy because I got promotion. Yeah. And more money. Amen. And I'm gonna learn as I go. Amen. You didn't care, and you definitely didn't show that I didn't know what I was doing. I'm hey, I'm the boss. I'm hey. Then, it, but you couldn't have those doors. Oh Lord, <laughs> show me how to fix this problem. Yeah. You know, but in front of people, you hey. I can do this. That's what God tells us now. Guess what? You got the perfect backing. You have me. Amen. Yeah. All you gotta do is ask me before you step into that office. Yeah. Before you drive off in that car. Yeah. Ask me. Yes. And I will show you I'm the perfect GPS. Yeah. I'm the perfect navigation. Amen. You know, back in the day, they had the Thomas guy. You don't need no Thomas guy. Yeah. You got the guy, yeah. which is the word of God. Hallelujah. So, you can go to him anytime. Mm -hmm. Guess what? He will pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. He will answer. Amen. He may not answer when you want him to. Yeah. My wife sung the song always on time, mm -hmm. which means that he is always there. Mm -hmm. But because he don't respond when you want him to, All right. All right. I'm still here. Amen. Amen. But sometimes there's something that we have to do. We have to do and give up. We can't always be dirty. Amen. And then expect to live holy. Mm -hmm. And expect the blessings. Amen. He will give you us. He will he, he, he give you enough to show you, hey, Josh, <laughs> this is what I'll do for you. That's right. Amen. If you right. do this for me, mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you what I will do for you. That's right. Okay. Lord, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. I'll be the usher. I want you to be the best usher, Josh. Mm -hmm. So just like you said yes, he's going to show you, here you go, this is for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, a brand new car. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you what I can do for you. Amen. Amen. Oh, my goodness. And what we do, we get slack. I mean, car. I'm okay, I'm it. And we get relaxed. Yes. Yes. And we forget I gotta be the best usher. Yeah. My, my dad told me about this this little guy. I got him. I think it was George Washington Washington Carver or, or Booker T. Washington that swept the floor on, as a child, and he swept that floor to where there was no dirt, nothing on the floor. They kept saying, "Why are you doing?" He said, "This is my. I'm the one sweeping the floor. Mm -hmm. I, I want to do the best. I want to be the best floor sweeper." Mm -hmm. I said, "That's what God said. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're a usher, a doorkeeper. Mm -hmm. Be the best. Amen. Amen. Be proud." Yes. Yeah. I was going to tell my nephew Shane, I said, you know what? See, God gives you a little bit. Mm -hmm. I said, this is what I'll do for you. And we get excited, we get happy. Oh, whoa, whoa. And we, feel, we lose focus. Yes. I tell God every day, Lord, bless me. Please yes. do this for me. Yes. But when you do it, continue to keep me humble. Mm -hmm. Don't let me get the big head. Because I'm, I'm nothing. Right. Don't let me forget about you. Mm -hmm. And we get the blessing. That's why we started slacking on our jobs. Amen. Yes. Yes. You can't tell me nothing. <laughs> but mind you, 
When he had on your back, yeah. you made yeah. these promises. Yeah. Yeah. You made a vow. Yeah. Because you are up right and you're doing things right now, right. he will knock you down yeah. on your back. Yeah. 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 He will take it away. Yes, he and a lot of us, we get excited, got mm -hmm. it, whoa, look, look, and I hear, I hear this all the time, mm -hmm. look what I did, yeah. you didn't do nothing, right. Right. he did, yes, yeah. right. that's right, he want all the honor and all the praise, that's, that's what right. I did, that's right, I went to school and I did what I accomplished, you didn't do nothing, uh -huh. he opened up, he opened those doors for you, yeah. he allowed the professors to, to take time in, because that's what some of us are really struggling, and they, Hey, come in, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Guess what? If you take your time and you do this, they, they, they're going to have to wait just for you. And people yes. say, why are they doing it for him? Because you're covered. Mm -hmm. My wife had this thing she said all the time. Favor ain't favor, but it sure feels good. Yes. See, you have the favor of God on you. Yes. But then all of a sudden, you forget. Yes. Hey, this is what I'm going to do. Yes. God said, oh, wait, wait, hold it, hold it. He stopped you. Do what I tell you to do. Continue your work. My father-in-law said, guess what? So right here, Kim, all this on down this wall is blessings. Mm -hmm. they, they got your name on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all this dust is on all these blessings. But guess what? If you don't do what I tell you, they're going to stay up there. Amen. But every time you obey me and honor me, I'm going to open up that window. Amen. Just keep pouring them out. Yeah. Keep pouring them out. Because yeah. you're doing what I asked you to do. That's right. mm. You're doing what I told you to do. Yeah, you have faith and you trust in me. Mm -hmm. That's what he's telling us. To trust him. Amen. Trust the process. Yes. And with yourself and with other saints. Yes. As I said earlier, we come here to get encouragement from each other. Amen. For strength. Yes. To build each other up. Yes. Let us continue to help and support one another. Amen. We are brothers and sisters. God loves you. Same way he loves your brother and your sister. Amen. But continue amen. to fight this fight. Amen. It's all about saving souls. Mm -hmm. And I remember, I remember, I came in one day, I was doing some work in the church, and I said, I saw a line of people out there getting food. Mm -hmm. I said, wow, man, that's strange how people line up for free food. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> your spiritual, your, your health, spiritual health is jacked up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the hospital was open 24 hours. Yeah. Right here, hospital. Yeah. But you don't come here. Mm -hmm. Anything is free. Yes. Tennis shoes on sale, Nike's, mm -hmm. whatever else. <laughs> Black Friday. Stand in that line. Mm -hmm. Whew, four o'clock yeah. in the morning. Just trying to get in. Yeah. <laughs> but I guarantee you, for God, mm -hmm. well, I, you know, I get that. Hmm. If you really want him Amen. and need him, there's some things that you have to give up. Same yeah. way you give up your time and stuff for the Black Fridays. Do it for God. Amen. 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 And then watch the blessings, how they will flow. Amen. He made a promise and he never lies. Yeah, and he wants to give us those blessings. Yes. Yeah. He just wants us to trust in him yeah, every day. Yeah, you see the bro, I love you all. God bless you all. Continue to be strong. And trust in the Lord. God bless you.
come and visit us today. And thank the Lord for him today. Amen. Amen.